The heart of West Michigan United Way's mission of helping those in need continues with their annual collection drive to help provide basic items to families in Kent County. Yeah, it's those basic items, Michelle, that can often play havoc with the budgets of people living check to check. But it's easy to help and pay it forward in your area. Maribeth Groen is the Director of Events and Public Relations with the heart of Michigan West United Way. That's West Michigan United Way. Let me get the name right. Thanks for being here this morning, Maribeth. Appreciate it. This drive, let's talk about what it's for. Why do we do it? So this is really such an important drive for a lot of families, like you said, that are living paycheck to paycheck. You know, at the end of the month, there's really not a lot of extra money. Um, so items like cleaning supplies, toiletries often get forgone. And so if uh, people on SNAP benefits, those aren't covered by uh, SNAP benefits. So this just kind of helps with that. Absolutely. And, and talk about how important it is to have these items. I think a lot of us take them yeah. for granted that the fact that we have toothpaste and toothbrushes and dish soap at our disposal. Yeah. So if you think about it, let's say for a family that has been experiencing homelessness and they are finally able to move into a housing unit, you know, if they don't have the uh, cleaning supplies to get move in to, it can create unsafe environment, uh, you know, dust mites and other uh, problems like that. For teens, if they are not going to school that, uh, with hygiene, good hygiene, that can lead to bullying and lack of self-confidence, which can affect their studies. Oh, it's amazing that those connections are made that way, but people might not automatically think that. Yeah. That you're in, they're not homeless anymore, but the things, they don't have the things that they need yeah. in that home. And we brought some examples right here. This is basic stuff. It really is. So any of the basic toiletry items, shampoo, uh, especially for natural hair, uh, for curly hair products, that's mm -hmm. something that's a great need for that. Uh, toothbrush, deodorants, uh, toothpaste, cleaning supplies, general purpose, toilet paper, uh, paper towels, those types of items. If you're a parent of a college kid and you've ever sent them a care package, <laughs> yeah. all right, this is what you're looking for. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Think Not hard. Happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and so you got how long this this is ending? I mean, this isn't forever. So what? How long is this going? Yeah. So it kicks off today. Mm -hmm. It goes for the next two weeks. Okay. Uh, you can drop off items. Uh, we have some public drop off sites at any Nakatawa Bank. Uh, so there's a lot of locations, which makes it easy, and some coffee shops around town. So Common Ground, Lantern, Scorpion Hearts Club, and Field and Fire Cafe. And then this kind of speaks to what you do as a whole. Right, by, by basically taking in and then disseminating where it's needed most. That's kind of what the United Way does. It really is. Our mission is to unite resources to reduce poverty, and really that's what we're doing. We are connecting our agencies and our donors uh, and volunteers to make this happen. Yeah. And so tell us how this is all then distributed, because you're, you're working with st several organizations as yeah, well. We're working with three different organizations, uh, Family Promise, which serves families experiencing homelessness, the Other Way Ministries, which is a wonderful organization on the west side established right in that neighborhood, mm -hmm. and uh, Hope, helping our adolescents prosper. They work with uh, youth, uh, teen girls. Wonderful. Yeah, you guys are in touch with all of the great organizations in West Michigan, making sure that they're funded, and this is just one easy way that we can help. Simple things. It Mouthwash, could not be easier, right? deodorant. Yeah. I mean, the next time you're going in to get a new toothbrush, grab yeah. two. I mean, it's pretty easy. Bring the basics collection drive happening now through the 22nd. And there are the public drop off sites. There's plenty of them Common Ground, Field Bar Cafe, Lantern Bar, or excuse me, Lantern Ca Coffee Bar, and Lounge on Commerce. If you want all of that, we've got, oh my goodness, even more. Makatawa, all the Makatawa locations, and Scorpion Hearts Club as well. We have all of this waiting for you at hwmuw.org. Or just search for Bring the Basics for more.